part two was ripping around in a little green Mihati, which is a classic small Jeep type vehicle, perfect for the little streets that run around the island. The island is basically a one way road all the way around, with stops at beaches along the way. The most famous one is Cala Rosa, the Red Cove, which I assumed may have something to do with the Red Tuna but learned that name came from a naval battle fought there in 241 BC, where 120 Carthaginian ships were sunk by the Romans, and so many dead Phoenicians washed up on the Favignana shoreline, it turned the water red. Luckily, a couple thousand years have passed, and the water couldn't be further from red. Actually, it's probably the most colorful aqua blue color of water I've ever seen in my life. We explored the rest of the island's beaches and caves, and all I can really say is, Favignana is a must-visit location if you make it to the west coast of Sicily. Which, if you're still watching, I imagine you've considered doing this at some point. We stopped for some fresh squeezed orange juice mixed with lemon granita. Yes, please. And at Pepe's house, we had a little lunch, tuna sandwiches, arancine, and some beer. I'm glad we got some tuna, tuna? after we learned all about tuna. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's a day of tuna. We are very happy to be here. What a wonderful day. What a wonderful day. Thank you so much. So this is just a small taste of Favignana and the Agate Islands. We barely scratched the surface of this amazing place. I plan to visit Favignana many times in my life to explore and learn even more about this remarkable, beautiful, wild island.